What's up guys? So this video is gonna be a bit shorter and it's gonna answer a lot of your questions on what kind of camera I use. You guys know like I've been known for a lot of the good cinematics and music. Don't mind the daughter in the background. Say hi Aaliyah. Say hi. Hi. This specific lens is a Sony E-mount. It's 10 to 18 with an f4 so it's really nice it actually gets a pretty decent zoom in which is kind of nice for like a little bit of cinematic work you get a little bit closer a little bit further but i prefer a lot wide angle lens just because i'm a vlogger and then the camera itself that you guys are looking at right now is an a7s2 which i freaking love low light is amazing by far one of the best cameras i've ever had behind me i have my canon 70d and i love this thing a lot a couple gopros and a lot of batteries then old ass nikon and a bunch of other random stuff and no way shape or form is my room currently organized i even have a little point and shoot which is one of my favorites here it's a g7x um really good running and gunning camera my camera settings are pretty much pretty basic i film everything with the shutter speed priority which is nothing too crazy i try not to do too many manual settings as i'm running and gunning vlogging because it gets way too complicated so i'm going to show you guys a little bit of how i do cinematics with this a little bit of post stabilization but not much ready let's go that is right there pretty much off freehand i'm just holding it with my arms and then i'm moving it around with my body to make sure i get as stable as a shot as i can that's literally just a little bit of post stabilization just a little bit to get the little bit shakes little of the shakes out uh, oh the microphone i forgot is a micro road mic which i love because it requires no batteries with this current e-mount 10 to 18 sony look how wide it is it's pretty freaking wide and the sony a7s2 just makes it a very good detailed camera with autofocus. So let's look at my hat here. Shameless plug, uh, primal driven. This is our hat, the house on grind hat. If you guys wanna check it out, link in the bio below. Shameless plug, but look at the focus that I can walk up to you and I can still stay within focus. And the coolest thing about the Sony a7S II is you can actually uh, put focus points where they're dots, they're, I don't know all the technical terms. I'm not a camera guy. I just shoot a lot of video, 700 and something videos. So I get the idea of running and gunning as much as I can, the experience of an average Joe. And here's the new lens. Sam Yang, it sounds like some Asian man made this up. 14 mil 2.8, which is really nice. It's a fixed one, but I don't mind because I don't zoom in that much with this camera. This one should give me some nice depth and a lot of good low light, even better than what it is now. Now I'm telling you guys that I am an automotive vlogger, so this could be true to life vloggers and any other type of vlogging world. It comes with a little bag, that's pretty cool. And I am in the automotive world, so I go from like inside events all the way to running outside to a car, from really like matte wraps on a car to a very nice glossy or glittery um, uh, wrap like my other car. So having something that can vary in lighting and settings is super important. So this lens was my second on the list because it's not super expensive. And I'll link, every, link everything in the description if you guys need to buy one. But this is kind of what it looks like right now. Another great thing with wide angles is literally I put the camera down and I just kind of, that's, that's really cool. Um, I put the camera down and I just kind of point and I know that I'm completely in it. This thing is really, really light and all the specs and technical details will be in the description. And it's a nice smooth ring that, it's a nice focus ring. Bottom, just like the same. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of technical details because I'm gonna tell you guys, and you guys already know, I'm not a big numbered and geek nerd. I, I see what I really like and I find all the details on it. Do tons of research and then I make the purchase and I test it out. And in this case, here it is. Is it ready to switch over? Okay, let's do this. Ready? Switch lines. And I'm back with a 2.8, which is pretty crazy. I feel like it might be a little bit heavier than the Sony, which it is a little bit heavier and the autofocus i can hear a lot more let's listen to this i can definitely hear the autofocus on this on the sony don't hear anything at all and you guys watching most of you guys might be actual camera lack of better word nerds and that's not to say anything in a mean way so you guys correct me if i'm wrong i'm literally just an average user that wants to run and gun that's made over 700 freaking videos and I just kind of know what I like and I'm just going to give it to you guys and let you guys know what I personally like and my, it might work for you with my style. So current lens, if you guys see, it's fixed. It looks really nice. The biggest thing that I'm concerned about by looking at it right now is the fact that on this one, I do have a hood that's removable. 
Um, but I do have a, a, um, a filter on it. To two things. It's nice to have a filter. It also protects you a little bit with all the elements. I'm super rough on my equipment because I'm running and gunning. So like tomorrow, I'm going to Formula Drift. I will be going from inside to the stands to the actual track. I get to be on the track. Um, and then I'll be up on stage. So I'll be running and gunning and having a camera that can last for a long time is super important along with the lens. Ooh, I do feel the weight on this one. Okay, ready? Cinematics, go. Yeah. Ride with the mob, hum do Allah. Check in with me and do your job. Berg is the name, then Bola did the chain. Turn on for the watch. So, what do you guys think about that? I don't know because I have to re review the footage with you guys. But this is kind of how it looks as you're walking around. And this would be my normal style if you're a vlogger. And a lot of you guys are becoming vloggers out there. Especially in the automotive world, you have a lot of changing elements. One inside the car, one outside the car. So you're gonna have backlit and interior lighting that can be from the bottom, from the up. And like in this case, I've got lighting up above me, but I've got lighting over there. And then all of a sudden I've got backlit right here with me in the back. And then the perception of depth and how it kind of curves on the edge because it's a wide angle. A lot to think about, hence why I try to find a very generalized lens that will work for you guys. So let's consider this. What do you guys think? I like this lens for the look of it. The price of it's not too bad, and I'll link you guys on Amazon, but I hope it works. It's a little bit heavy for my taste just because I'm so used to a super light camera. But this is how it looks from a distance and walking up to it. The focus seems like it's not too bad. It's a little bit noisy, it might be a little bit slower. A practical life application for this lens, I don't know yet. I will figure this out and I'll let you guys know, For especially for you automotive vloggers, it's important to have something that you can run and gun because if you can't run and gun, you can't vlog very fast. And uh, if you have your tools and you treat it like a tool, but treat it with care, but don't baby it in a way where you're gonna lose the shot. It's very important. Super short and informative video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys haven't yet, check out my clothing brand, primaldriven.com for the new hats. Hustle and Grind is also in the back of this if you guys didn't see. But the hustle and grind is a reminder to all of us to always hustle, always grind, and never lose focus on the end, ultimate goal. And most of you guys already know what the knives mean right here. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions, hit me up on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Smurf and WX. I am very, very active on Snapchat. I rarely vlog anymore, but I will get back to it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.